back at the top of the volcano of venom uh my sword is actually oh yeah my sword's not doing so well um hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna get in there kind of take a look around uh if it's too hairy i'm gonna back out and uh repair my sword because that is one thing that I definitely do not want to have, you know, not in peak condition. Okay, so we've got a ladder with some lava. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is pretty terrifying. First things first, repair this ladder. There's no way I'm going down here. Oh, oh man, it's a good thing. Is that void? That's a void. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Dang, that was that was crazy. Sneaky little devil. Alright. Um You know what actually I don't want to be right at the ground level. Uh, I want to be a little above it, just in case things get crazy. Um, I can't believe I almost, I almost just, oh my gosh. See, it was, it was weird. I didn't, um, it didn't look like it to me. That's, that was what the problem was. It didn't look like void to me at first, and so I didn't think anything of it. Which, you know, it's probably the point. Um, but yeah, I just, I was just kind of, you know, following the ladder down, fixing it as I go. Um, we got a lot of space here. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to go all the way to the wall here to get a nice and safe. And of course, that's something I can't easily break through. Oh. Silverfish. Oh, man. Are they silverfish with poison? Hopefully not. Because uh, you remember our little chat about things that map makers should never do? Spawning silverfish with poison in a area that's lined with silverfish blocks. It's one of those things. Okay, I'm gonna... Hmm. I'll do this first. Get rid of that. Okay, we got one spider. One spider here. Where'd you go? Why'd you leave, spider? Whatever. Um, hmm.
So that is what I don't want ever to happen. Is for silverfish to spawn. Because if that happens, this entire area could lose its integrity. Start lying, cheating, stealing. I know I'm dumb. Well, at least my sword kills them in one hit, so there's at least that. Hmm. It's a cool area. Um. Wee bit terrifying, but cool nonetheless. Kill them with your bow. Easily the safest way to go about this area is to kill everything at a distance. Alright, we got uh, custom mob spawner. Okay, custom mob spawner across the way. Um, hmm. Whoa, looky here. Got a diamond. Uh, okay, well now that I see that, I'm going to keep my eyes out for any more. Um, this area is going to rip through my torches. Oh man, that's disappointing. Okay, so they've at least got fire resists, which I kind of figured. Um, potions. They drop potions, which is actually kind of nice. Hmm. Kill this skeleton from far off. Did that spawn from this far away? You must have change the spawn mechanics. Dang it. Give me that loot. Alright. Second diamond. Uh, yeah. I mean... If I uh, finish this area, um, I mean, not if, when I finish this area, I gotta come back and farm it for all its diamonds. Um, even if it's just for the monument, if I can get enough diamonds for a set of gear, that would be an extra bonus. That wouldn't necessarily be my uh, number one objective here. Um, Honestly, my number one objective is to f complete the monument. Um, diamond gear is awesome. It is incredibly helpful. However, um, I would not use it, or I would not, yeah, I would not use this diamond for gear until after I had the uh, monument set up.
Hmm. At half a heart. Look over here where it's light. And potion of strength, potion of strength, venom. Shoot. Um. Okay. I'm gonna eat one of these. <clears throat> Got three diamond. Got another ladder over there. Probably got to go over there for the wall. Got weird structures over there, but we'll uh, we'll check those out later. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't, what I don't understand is why put the spider spawners over there. I'm sure I will find out in a terrible way, but why put the spider spawners over there if they can't get to me on this bridge? See, now this would be, <laughs> if I were just being like the meanest map maker ever, this would be where I would put skeletons with punch bows. Or blades. this off for a minute and take a look up here Stupid. Yeah, I might have to uh, head back and get more torches. Man, I hate when that happens. I'm the kind of person who likes being over, over, over prepared. And I cannot stand 
when I get into a situation where I did not prepare enough. Aha! Maybe not. Wool box. Okay. Hmm. No, 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 no. Get out of here, witch. What are you doing here? Purple core. Yeah, I don't know what the... Hmm. Oh, it looks like a shortcut. Oh, evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the longer I stay in here, the worse it's going to get. Wow, are you kidding me? What had uh, what had knockback on it? That was crazy. Um. Okay. Got a rekit. I'll be back. All right, I am back, and I am not happy. Uh, so I came back here. Um. Yeah, I'm not happy. I came back here to get my stuff, obviously. Um, I actually forgot I wasn't recording, and I lit up the whole place, got all nervous, and just went all crazy, right? Uh, the other issue is I went so crazy lighting up the place to stop the spawns that I wasn't paying attention to the timer, and all my stuff despawned. Uh, because I basically had a crowd, I basically had a uh, Coachella-sized crowd of witches, um, and they all wanted to be my friend. And so, yeah, rip all that stuff. That was some really awesome stuff, and I'm really, really not happy about it. Um, but I got the wool, the purple core. Uh, we can say goodbye to this area. Um... And I can take a look at what this shortcut is. Um, wow, that's that's really mean. Okay, um, I'm actually not going to take that shortcut then. If that's where it goes, I'm going to just go back my safe way uh, because... I have never, I've not been where the shortcut goes yet, and I see void, and so I'm going to go the direction where I was safe, um, where I don't see void. Uh, okay, that was where I first came up. So the ladder should be right here. Yeah. Oh, dang, man. Okay, let's just run, get out of the range of these blazes. Why? Hmm. There is something down there though, so I'm going to check that out. This may be a terrible idea. It probably is a terrible idea. Actually, it won't take very long with an efficiency 5 pick. Okay, not there. Uh, yeah, this won't take long at all with an efficiency 5 pick, that's all. <laughs> Oh, more 
diamond. Mind if I do. Oh, I lost the other diamond. Also, I lost that diamond because I mined it with a gold pick. <sighs> I lost the diamond. That's alright. I'm pretty sure we'll get some diamond somewhere else. I think it's that big of a deal. Alright, cool. Where? Oh, right on top of it. Awesome. Okay, um. Punch three, knockback three, mighty bow that was born out of ash. Alright, um, yeah, I haven't found the music disc in this area, however, I still haven't even discovered what the music discs are for, so until I do that, I'm not going to bother. Uh, let's go over here, since... We lost all our stuff, it doesn't really matter, and we have a safe way back to the, uh, um, I did go through here, oh my gosh, I really need to learn from my mistakes, <laughs> yeah, story of my life, right, uh, I went through here and lit some things up and killed the spawners, but I didn't look in any of these chests. So, in them. No effects. Weird. See, this happens to me every once in a while. I don't know if anybody, if anybody knows why this happens to me, um, and can let me know. That would be awesome. Uh, every once in a while, I will spawn in and or, you know, just be playing, and a mob will be completely invisible. And it's not a custom mob that's made invisible, it's just the mob's skin or whatever uh, isn't rendering, so therefore I can't see it when it pops in. It's very frustrating and pretty cheap uh, because I can't really do anything against it. It's just kind of sitting there hitting me. Uh, so yeah, if anybody knows why that happens, that would be that would be lovely to know. Um, my heart just skipped a beat. Whew. All right, climb back up this ladder. Uh, so I have the core. We don't have to come back here. Uh, actually, we do have to come back here because I need to figure out where the next intersection is. Shoot. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll do on my next episode. Um, is I will need to find out where the next intersection is. So I'll need to scope out these areas. Um, for intersection uh, shortcuts. All right. Um. I'm going to see where I'm at in the timer, and I will be right back. All right, we are actually right about at an episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down from this uh, volcano here, and then uh, we'll call it. Um, yeah, another death. Uh, it's frustrating and disappointing, but uh, I made a bad decision going into there. Uh, when I saw the shortcut... I thought it was going to be something more important, um, not just a way to get back to the beginning of the dungeon. Uh, and then what that made me want to do is it made me want to um, take a look. And I know that that was not advised because, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't have the... I didn't have the fortitude, I didn't have the armor, I didn't have the setup, the kit, anything to be able to handle that many spiders. Um, they were all invisible, had witches, not a good combination. So yeah, I got the uh, core. Um, I'm going to start the next episode of the monument. We're going to make sure all these cores are down. And then uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. We'll take a look for intersection 4. Alright, uh, until next time, stay hungry.